that uh, uh, the 21st of this month is the primary election for all the parties and um, from the governor on down. And it's extremely important that we um, encourage all Northern Kentuckians. It's a very important message. All Northern Kentuckians and all Kentuckians get out and vote in your primaries because that's where you do your major selection of who's actually going to be your candidate of each party, both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, and even if they're running as an independent or libertarian or some other party, there's where your choices come from. But all of the polls I've seen show oh, a, a large percentage of undecided people. That tells me that there's a lot of people that don't know who the candidates are. And um, of course, one important candidate for us in Northern Kentucky is uh, uh, a fellow by the name of Will Schroeder, and um, who's our, one of our state senators from Northern Kentucky, who's a lifelong Northern Kentuckian. And, and you know, Randy, myself, one of the reasons that I got into politics many, many years ago in the history of my life was uh, because Northern Kentucky hadn't, didn't have a uh, statewide office holder for almost 70 to 80 years on any of the offices from governor on down, lieutenant governor and secretary of state and treasurer and commissioner of agriculture and, and uh, uh, superintendent of education, the state of Kentucky. Now we no longer have an elected superintendent of education because I was the last elected superintendent of education, but I was the first, first person uh, to win the, a statewide office uh, from Northern Kentucky uh, in almost 70 some years. And um, so it's important when you've got candidates from your local area, particularly our area of Northern Kentucky, from either party that are running for office that we learn about them and find out about them and that we get out and vote for them. Because uh, uh, his race for um, uh, Attorney General right now is about a toss-up. And uh, who gets out the vote is who will win that race. And so uh, I talked with him on the phone today and he was down in, I think, Treat County or someplace and, and Somerset down in that area, uh, gonna be the guest speaker down there somewhere. So I actually even asked him to come on with us here. But uh, I told him that uh, I would tell the folks in Northern Kentucky that he was running wonderful young man. His father was on the Supreme Court as a, a judge, and you couldn't have found a person of higher character. And the same way with this young man, Will Schroeder, high character. And um, But you folks look at all the candidates, study all of them, and um, the governor's on the race too, and he's got uh, opponents in the in the Republican primary. And you know, we got so many Republicans in Kentucky now that we actually have Republican primaries. <laughs> I can say that a little jokingly because I used to be a Democrat for many years, you know, and ran as a Democrat, but then I became a Republican, you know, and right now I'm registered as an independent, so I sort of analyze them all. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's really important that for our state and our commonwealth that people educate themselves and get out and vote. And I say that as a government teacher. And if you've got any questions, call me, 859-750-0000. Be happy to discuss the election with you. But it was nice of Will to call me up on the phone today and tell me why he couldn't be here in person to talk about the role of the Attorney General, which is a very important office in the state of Kentucky, particularly since he's pro-life, and I'm very much pro-life, and you are too, aren't you, Randy? Yes. And, um, but, uh, uh, and Miss June is. She's back there doing the uh, camera for us today. And guess what, we got a new fella up here. Uh, I think his name was Scott, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that right? Yes, Scott, I believe it is Scott. Uh, Scott, I believe, is up. And Ryan, who did a yeoman service for us for uh, several, almost a year now, and uh, did a yeoman service for us, uh, uh, is off to better things. And, and uh, so uh, uh, Roger, who's in charge and does a great job, he oversees everything, and he brought up Scott to training on help to help, help us uh, with the production of our 
show here on Spectrum, which shows on Channel 422 all across Northern Kentucky. And uh, we're thrilled to, to be a part of it and, and to be a part of public access here in the, in the state of Kentucky. We did the very first show in 1982 called Home Weatherization. And since then, in 1982, we've done over a thousand television shows across Kentucky. And um, you can see them on, a lot of them on YouTube and on Facebook under John Stevenson. And don't forget, Randy's got uh, uh, the event out at uh, the church. And that's when, what date? Uh, May the 26th. May the 26th. And then later on in the year, you got the, the anniversary. 175 year 175 year anniversary. Now we got, I got to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like to play another song for us, Randy? Can uh, we get get one more out of you? Yeah, or two. Yep. What you think you're gonna do, Randy? Uh, th this was an old gospel song. Where could I go? Where could I go? And Randy, I, where can I go? Randy and I, every month, go down to the homeless shelter and entertain two together, don't we? Yeah, you have a and great time. Have a great time, don't we? And uh, uh, down to Fairhaven, well, it's actually Fairhaven Rescue uh, Mission. And uh, we're men that are homeless there, and Randy's been doing that for over 20 years. And our brother Gerald and, and myself and our group. And uh, uh, give us that good song, Randy. Randy Wallace, Oak Ridge Baptist Church. That is here. Leaving me low in this old sinful world. Hardly a comfort can afford. Striving alone to face temptation so. We
fantastic, Randy. Oh, I tell you what, you just thrill my soul with uh, singing and playing, and and I always in, enjoy it so much. And you've been the minister there at Oak Ridge Baptist Church for, I guess now, thirty some years. Thirty seven. Thirty. Uh, thirty eight. No. Thirty eight years. Oh my goodness gracious, sakes alive. Well, I just signed up for my last year uh, as a uh, real estate broker. And I've been a member of the Board of Realtors now for 50 years. And uh, uh, got uh, maybe one year left in me. And because and, and it, it's quite a job, you gotta go through all the houses and everything. And uh, um, I uh, met my daughter, Colleen Michelle Foss, and her husband, Jeff, had me out to their house the other night, beautiful home, five bedrooms, uh, four and a half beds, about 3,000 square feet or better, beautiful in-ground swimming pool, I mean beautiful. Two lots, two and a half acres on one, another two and a half, two and a half acres on the other one, all fenced in and uh, four and a half beds, one in the basement, three car garage, Tell you what, beautiful place. That formal dining room and an eat in kitchen. And they asked me if I'd list it and sell it for them. And I told them I would. I haven't signed the papers yet, but uh, $509,900. And actually, when you get right down to it, it's a super deal. It's out on Carly Court which is uh, out in Boone County, southern part of the county, out in the Walton Verona School District, which is one of the best school districts in the state of Kentucky. And um, lives out there on the same street as my good friend Rob Marshall from uh, uh, Dry Ridge Toyota Marshall Auto Group. Rob lives there, and of course I go down there, and I swear I bought my Toyota. You know my two daughters work at Toyota. Uh, Holly uh, Johnson and Pamela Archambault. Uh, two of my daughters, my other daughters, took Gerald down yesterday to see uh, his wife Dorothy. She's retired from the mental, from the health department, and still working part time. And uh, but she helps out a lot doing that with me. And of course, my son is the head of the revenue cabinet in Northern Kentucky. We just had Mother's Day, though, Randy. Oh. Do you have a special song that you can close us out with? Uh, that's uh, something about Mother's Day because I have to say something, and I say this publicly. June, who's never had any children herself, well, except me, <laughs> she says God gave her one, <laughs> but she's been the mother to all of my children and all of her nieces and nephews, and we were just out with one of them, Jennifer, uh, and had a beautiful evening, just a beautiful evening out at the Oriental Walk of Mike Wong's place down there, mm -hmm. he's a super guy, and I had to say, Blended mothers are what they call sometimes stepmothers or friends. I don't care what you call them. They're miracle workers. And everybody should take care of them because they are wonderful people in life. And today we have a lot of blended families, don't we, Randy? Yeah. And it's important we share love. And what's the greatest gift God gave us? Is the gift of love. And when Jesus knocks on your door, inviting in and I look out there at the audience today we talk about elections we see how important they are and they are important the governor's running Matt Bevin good guy you know made a little mistake saying some things about the teachers should have never done that that's a no-no you don't want to always support the teachers got a couple minutes left in time here on the show and I was a honest being an old teacher myself you don't want to get them upset with you I helped start that political action arm of the school teachers in the state of Kentucky and uh, they're, they're a powerful group to have upset with them. But he's trying to do the best he can down there. It's not an easy job. And uh, he's quick to speak, a little slow to think. But he does get around to the right issues eventually. So he's been a good governor, he's done a lot of good things, bring a lot of jobs into Northern Kentucky. Randy, when, some, when Jesus knocks on our door, we still have to reach down there and turn the knob and invite him in, don't we? Right. So you folks out there watching and listening today, just remember all the history books in the world, all the books in the world that you hear about, nothing holds a candle to the Bible. 
greatest history book ever written and overseen by God. And it's the book that is the most important book in your life because it can teach you how to get salvation. It's free because Jesus paid the price for all of us if we just confess our sins and invite him into our hearts. Right, Randy? Oh, is that okay? Absolutely. What are you going to close us out with? Yeah, just uh, one, one of the verses of the song I wrote for my mom and dad. Oh, wonderful. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. And happy Mother's Day, June Guyman Stevenson. Praise the Lord for you a thousand times over. I don't know how you've tolerated me. <laughs> She's back in the audience back there now saying it hasn't been easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simon Kenton, class of 61. <laughs> in turns, life's highways, you led him by the hand. I only hope that as a parent, I can plainly see, I stand before you as a man. And I thank the Lord for all you've done for me. all his strength to make you proud of me. I only hope that as a parent I can plainly see the moral of your love story. The moral of your Godly principles and are you ready? Are you ready for the Lord? That's always the question, isn't it, Randy? Amen. And we hope you've got the answer out there and that you are ready for the Lord also. Thank you for watching us on Are You Ready? John and June Guyman Stevenson with our guest host today, Randy Wallace, minister at Oak Ridge Baptist Church. Find a church to go to, folks. There's plenty of them out there. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful, sir. Yeah, turn that off up there. That yeah, one. Just push that button there, that big white.